Hello there and welcome to Lake Update. More thunderstorms are expected in the mountains and for the snowpack. That could mean additional runoff. The California Department of Water Resources is getting ready to potentially brace for this as Lake Oroville continues to sit at 899 feet and releases from the spillway maintain 8,000 cubic feet per second. However, that release may not rise, said Tracy Pettit Paul Hemis, supervising engineer for DWR State Water Project Operations Control Office. The likelihood to increase releases is small. DWR continues to assess conditions and will make changes accordingly, Pettit Palhemus said. Pettit Palhemus said inflows are expected to increase somewhat on Tuesday before decreasing. As the week goes on, the inflow forecast indicates about 9,000 CFS, increasing to about 9,400 CFS, then decreasing to about 7,500 CFS by the end of this week, Pettit Palhemus said. Outflow levels are determined by a myriad of conditions as well as what time of year the water is being released. They are often a response to a reservoir's inflows based on stormy weather and snowmelt. Pettit Paul Hemis said DWR deals directly with the United States Army Corps of Engineers to make the ultimate determination. DWR's State Water Project Division coordinates with the Army Corps of Engineers during flood season especially, when high water events are forecast, Pettit Palhemus said, Lake Oroville's flood control is between September 15th and either May 8th or June 15th depending upon the conditions in the Feather River watershed, how wet or dry. The wetter the basin, the more flood reservation space is needed, and the drier the basin, the less flood reservation space is needed. During high water events, DWR and the Army Corps of Engineers coordinate Feather River releases. Additionally, other agencies are brought into the loop that are downstream from the Oroville Dam, she added. We assess the amount of inflow into Lake Oroville, the level of storage, the amount of potential encroachment in downstream flows, Pettit Palhemus said. Coordination between the Yuba Water Agency occurs as well since both water control manuals that guide flood operations are linked. Coordination calls are scheduled between the various parties, USAC, Yuba, and DWR's Division of Flood Management. As of Monday, Lake Oroville had a water level of 899 feet elevation, which is just under the 900 feet capacity. The lake sat at 769 feet on June 12, 2022, and before that, 702 feet on the same date in 2021. The Shasta Lake Reservoir has seen a considerable increase since the beginning of the year. As of Sunday night, the lake sits at 1,062 feet, nearing the full pool of 1067. On January 1st, when it sat at 959 feet, the lake level for June 12th in 2021 was 950, and then 945 on the same date in 2022.